Have you ever looked at your life, compared it to normal people, and then felt upset about it? Have you ever worried about other people finding out your secret, that you have social anxiety and that you're behind on particular things? and felt really ashamed about it? Have you ever blamed yourself for where you're at and the problems that you're dealing with? Well, this needs to stop because it's damaging your self-esteem and it's worsening your social anxiety. And if you were able to control it in the moment, if you could stop your social anxiety at will, you wouldn't be listening to me now. So today we're gonna begin stopping the shame and blame game. Of yourself and this is going to reduce your suffering and by the end of the video you'll have a simple strategy to reduce ongoing suffering now I know this is very relevant work to do because I've helped clients with this over and over and not only that I experienced this myself I blamed and shamed myself big time I'd be comparing myself with other people and I'd see them have fun I'd see them joke around I'd see them connect, I'd see them get together and you know do fun things together. And I would compare myself and I'm like, man, why can't I just have that? What's wrong with me? You know, why am I not just feeling relaxed in those moments? Why is that blushing coming up? How come I feel triggered? How come I freeze up? Why can't I do what they're doing? And why is what they're doing so effortless and natural for them? And why is it happening to me? And it would make me pissed off at myself and frustrated with myself. And I'd consider myself inferior and less than and a loser and weird and just different in a bad way. And I would then blame myself for not being like them. I'd blame myself for uh, not being able to date, not having a sex life. I'd blame myself for not being the man that I thought that I should be and not being tougher. And I blame myself for blushing and that it was weak. And I blame myself and found fault in myself for all of that as if I was doing it on purpose. And while this blaming of myself, this being hard and tough on myself was intended to fix the insecurity and to stop the anxiety and awkwardness, it actually did the opposite. It worsened my self-esteem. Now I felt even lower about myself. Can you relate to this at all? Inside our Social Confidence Club, this beating yourself up and blaming and shaming yourself is a significant issue. And we spend a lot of time on actually addressing this and resolving this. And uh, that's important and necessary. And uh, people report profound benefits from doing this work. So it's very helpful. And I thought today for uh, the gang here, you, <laughs> We're going to uh, get, a, get a start on how to stop this pattern that is sabotaging your self-esteem. And then and we're gonna do some tapping and then later I'll give you a simple strategy you can use by yourself, All right? So let's get going. All right, to begin, I invite you to close your eyes and just tune in to your social anxiety problem. Think about how it's affecting your life. Think about what it is that you're trying to hide from others with regards to your social anxiety. Maybe it's, be maybe it's that uh, your dating life sucks or maybe it's that you're not where you're supposed to be. Maybe it's that you, know, you have these issues. What is it that the anxiety has caused in your life? You know, it causes a lot of limitations, a lot of problems, a lot of difficulty. What is it that it has caused that you don't want people to find out? Think about that, think about the problem, tune into it, notice what emotions come up, notice what thoughts come up as you're thinking about this. This is right how bad it feels, zero to 10. And so open your eyes, step on the side of your hand, follow along. Here we go. <clears throat> Even though I have this social anxiety problem, and it's really difficult, and it's affecting my life massively, and 
and I really judge myself for that. I really blame myself for that. I want to try to find a way to get perspective. Okay, tapping on the beginning of the eyebrows. To so have all these problems because of social anxiety. So yes, it's pissing me off. On the eyes, it's so frustrating. I don't know. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't be having all these problems, but I do. Call on, and I'm afraid that people find out. On the arms, where I'm at is so embarrassing. Different point. I'm so ashamed of all these problems. Risk point. My life isn't the way it should be. Top of that. I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Okay, while well, you tap on the beginning of your eyebrows, I want you to think about other people. You might think about particular friends, people that are close to you, family members, whoever is relevant that you sometimes compare yourself with. Say eyes, they're much better than me. On the eyes, why am I so weird? On the I'm not supposed to feel this way. Chin, I shouldn't have these problems. Collarbone, I release all my emotional attachments to I shouldn't have these problems. On the knee arms, but I do have these problems. Risk point, I acknowledge that I have these issues. Top of that, that's the truth. I've got these issues. And what is also true is that I'm not doing this on purpose. On the north. And these issues don't have to define who I am. Chin, I've got these issues. Collarbone. And what I decide to do with them or not. Is more descriptive of the kind of person I am. Different point. I've been dealt these cards. Risk point, and it's very difficult to play the game at this moment in time. Game of life is very challenging right now. I acknowledge that fact. Sorry, guys. And I'm doing the best I can. On the eyes, part of me disagrees with that. I don't know. Part of me thinks I should try harder. Chin. And I recognize that part of me. Collarbone. That part of me wants me to do better and suffer less on the arms. And I can appreciate that intention. Risk point. But I'm letting that part of me know. Top of that, that being really hard on myself is only lowering my self-esteem. Me and the eyebrows, it's making things more difficult. Sorry, guys. I'm letting that part and all parts of me know. On the eyes, that I'm not getting anxious on purpose. I don't know. I've got these difficult issues. Chin, but I'm dealing with them. Collarbone. I'm doing something about them. On the arms. And I choose to respect myself for that. Risk point. I deserve to respect myself for that. 
Top of that. I've got these difficulties and because of the limitations. The limitations caused by anxiety. Sorry guys, have led to these embarrassing problems. Oh my gosh. And what will others think of these problems? I don't know. They might think whatever. Chin. And I have my emotional reactions to what I imagine they might think. And I can clear those emotional reactions. I'm doing that right now. I'm afraid of what they'll think of my secrets and social anxiety. And I release all my emotional attachments to whatever they might think. And I choose to find a little bit of compassion for myself right now. And I'm reminding myself that me taking some action is worthy of respecting myself. Good job, take a deep breath. Now, I hope this was helpful to you. This is, of course, just a taster, a beginning part of accepting what's going on. You know, inside the club, we do many exercises on this over a period of months. Just to give you an idea, this is chipping away at the layers of non-acceptance. There's the problem of anxiety, and then there's your difficult life circumstances that have resulted from the anxiety, difficulty to, ha difficulty to have close friends, difficulty to have intimacy, missing out on things, you know, not being as advanced in your career as you'd like, not going for promotions, etc. Those difficulties are the consequence of the anxiety. And then there's your feelings about what is. And what you want to do is you want to come to terms with how things are. Now, what that does not mean is that you approve of it or that you like it or that you want things to stay the same or that you're not going to do anything about it that is not what acceptance means what coming to terms making peace with where you're at means is that you stop judging yourself you stop feeling so bad about where you're at you stop you you release the shame you neutralize the embarrassment those feelings your reactions to your life circumstance and to the anxiety that's within your control especially with the tapping and i've just guided you through a little experience of this and you can do more you can chip away at it now at the beginning of the video i said i'm going to give you a little strategy because there's more to do now this um, is unlikely to solve all trouble with accepting your life circumstances but it's something you can do that's going to bring you some relief and that relief is going to add up and whenever you feel bad about your situation immediately start tapping and just be tapping from point to point and you can either allow the feelings to be there and give them permission to be there and accept and allow how you feel, recognize your feelings and have them be okay. And you can even go into venting your feelings. This is bullshit, why is this happening? It shouldn't be happening. And just let those feelings rip, so to speak, while you tap. You might do that already sometimes, but you might not be aware that you're doing it or when you do it, you, you, you don't do it while you're tapping. If you do this while you're tapping, you're kind of interrupting the pattern. You're doing something and you're doing something, you know, you're doing what you're normally doing, a particular pattern, and you're doing something else. You're adding the tapping. And on top of that, or maybe especially, you're also beginning to soothe the emotions associated with what you're focusing on. So you can think about the different areas of your life that brings up these emotions and then the tapping begins to soothe it. 
and then you might remind yourself that you're doing your best and this is not your fault because it is not your fault it's your responsibility however to do something about it and uh, that's what you've been doing right now so good job now if you want to do even more I suggest checking out this video. In this video, I guide you through a tap along focused on coming to terms with the anxiety and changing the relationship with the anxiety. There are lots of comments underneath that video and a lot of people report that after the video, it sits with them differently. They have a different outlook, a different perspective because the tapping has helped them shift things on a subconscious level. Okay, so go check that out right now and I'll uh, connect with you very soon. Bye for now.